Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I will be talking about booking plugins and particularly about a booking plugin for WordPress websites that works great for the business owners and for the clients. That is Amelia. Amelia is made for anybody who provides a service. Whether you're a dentistry clinic, whether you're a salon owner or a fitness coach, it is great for anyone who needs a booking plugin for their WordPress website. However, it's not just a booking plugin, it is more. And this is what today's video is about. So if you're ready, let's get started. Now, before I even start, let's take a look at a few, let's say, honorable mentions of Amelia. The first one being the fact that it has a multilingual support. Um, Amelia has been translated into over 20 languages, which means the communication between clients or even in the workplace um, is much more available and accessible for everyone. So that just makes the communication easier and is great for the diversity and inclusivity. Another thing that makes Melia stand out amongst its competitors is its clean and modern looking design. And by design, I mean the one that you can build into your websites and use it for your business. Uh, but the interface that it provides for you to work with as someone who purchases or decides to use the plugin is also very nicely designed to make things easier for you. Um, but as for built in into your website, let's take a look at a few examples. Like this one is a doctor's clinic. Uh, you can easily choose your services. Like this is just, of course, for an example, um, you can choose your employees. It provides you all of the features that you would normally need, you know. Um, and let's compare that to something like a barber shop, right? Totally different businesses, but what makes it great is that it is easily integratable into any type of business. Now, as I talk about the process of setting up Amelia, I will also talk about the features that Amelia provides, why you need them and how to use them. For that, you would go to plugins and add plugin in your uh, WordPress website. You would look up Amelia and it would be the first thing to pop up. You would click install. Great. So now let's take a look at the settings. For that, you would go on Amelia and settings over here. And the first thing that you would want to do as someone who's doing this for the first time is to fill out the company details. You can add a picture. You can write your company's name, address, website, phone number, etc. All of these are fully free available for anyone who's doing any business, right? The next thing you can do is add provider details. These are your employees. Now, if you're someone who has a small business and works for themselves, um, you can, of course, uh, provide your own details and make yourself your own employee. Uh, but if you're someone who has multiple employees, you would have to upgrade it. It's great for someone who is a solo service provider. So if you're one of them, this is one of the best plugins for you. However, if you're a bigger business, you might want to look into the upgraded version. Now you would fill out the details like first name, last name, email, etc. And you would take a look at the working hours. You can see that you can edit them easily and you can delete them with the trash icon over here. Same with the day offs and special days. These are fully free accessible. Now there's one feature that makes Amelia something more uh, than just a booking plugin, like the integrations over here. Uh, this is a place where you're provided the opportunity to link the third party tools to make a better and productive work with your business. You can link Apple Calendar, you can link Google Calendar over here, um, Zoom, Google Meet, etc. These are um, accessible for the upgraded version. Uh, however, again, if you're a small business owner, you wouldn't need this. But, you know, these are great ways to um, 
improve the productivity of your business. Let's take a look at another feature like notifications over here. Um, this is where you would be able to notify your customers by default or redirect them to a certain URL. So again, this is a great feature that not a lot of uh, booking plugins provide. So that makes just the job easier for you and the client. Now it's time to add services. For that, you would go to services over here under Emilia, and this is the page you will be redirected into. Uh, to add a service, you would click first to add category. Let's say we're a spa salon, so a category of a service would be facials. You would click save, and then you would click add service. And since it's facials, let's do um, face massage. And then choose a category, which would be facials. And then we're going to uh, work around the duration and pricing. So the duration, let's say, is 30 minutes. The price would be $20, for example. Um, then you can click on gallery to give a visual representation of the service. And there are other settings you can look into, but this is the bare minimum that you would need to do. Um, after that, you would click save and your service would be added. After you filled out all of the necessary details and played with all of the settings provided, you would want to go to customize over here under Amelia. And you can immediately see that you're provided with three different forms to choose from step-by-step -step booking, catalog booking, and event list booking. For the sake of demonstration, let's go with the step-by-step -step booking one. This is the place where you're given the opportunity to play around and tailor everything perfectly to your brand, meaning the color, the font, everything that makes your brand your brand. So here you would change the fonts, for example, um, and colors as well. You can um, change the settings of every single section over here from service selection and um, date and time here. You can, for example, not only customize this button over here, you can also choose if you want to display the field or no like here uh, labels as well this is something where you take your time and you know customize everything to your wants and needs this is customer information and your information payment summary I will give you more in-depth explanation of how to work with the payment settings if you're planning to take the payment directly from your website because that's another thing that makes Amelia different than any other booking plugin after you're done customizing you click publish form now we're going to add an Amelia employee to make sure that our form works in order to do that you would click users and you would click add user you're going to fill out all of the necessary details. At the end, you're going to change subscriber to an Amelia employee. And at the end, click add user. Now that you just created your employee, you're going to have to assign them to your provider details. Again, in order to do that, you would go to settings over here. You would click on provider details. And here it would be the details that you've already filled out before. You're going to click on WordPress user and click on the employee that you just created. And you're going to click save. Great. Now let's add our form to our website. To do that, you would go to pages over here and you're going to click on the page you want to add that to. We're going to use the sample page over here. You're going to go down and you're going to click on the plus icon over here and you're going to search up Amelia. 
and you're going to click on the step-by-step -step booking if that's what you chose if that's the form that you chose so if it was something else make sure to click on that but i'm going to click on this and all you have to do is click save after it's done saving let's view page and this is what it's going to look like as you can see you can choose the day you're going to choose the hour exactly the same way that um, I customized it to be. Now you are at the payment section. Let's say you're a business who wants to take the payments directly from their website. In order to do that, you would want to go back to your settings. You're going to click on view payment settings. And here you can change the currency, you can change even the position of the price symbol. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is that um, you're going to be able to work with Square by default. Meaning if you want to use a different app to accept the payment, you are going to have to upgrade. The apps are WooCommerce, Molly, PayPal, Stripe and Razorpay. To give you a quick summary of Amelia, there are many features that it provides other than a booking plugin for a WordPress website. First, integrations that allow you to link third-party tools like Zoom or Google Calendar for higher performance. Two, fully and easily customizable forms to match with your brand style that is not only modern but also very versatile. Third, multilingual platform, which means more accessibility for more people. Third, notifications, where you can redirect your clients to a certain URL or notify them by default. Last but not least, a user-friendly design of the product. You don't have to put in hard work to be able to navigate the plugin itself. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. And if you still have questions, don't be shy, add them into comments down below.